vanity. Everything is vanity. A chasing after the wind. We'll talk about that in just a second. My Sunday school class is talking a little bit about Ecclesiastes. We're reading a whole lot of things about how Solomon tried every hedonistic way of life to try to find purpose and meaning. He discovered that it was meaningless. He also discovered that everything that we do as far as work and everything that we try to accumulate, it's meaningless because we're just going to die and leave it to someone else. Well, that's a pretty depressing prospect, isn't it? So how do we find meaning? You know, I think there's such a problem in this world about people needing to find meaning that it's a serious enough issue that I wanted to not just talk about it in Sunday school this week, but to talk about it here. How do you feel meaning? How do you get fulfillment? Isn't there always that time in your life where you're going, you know what, this is great, but there ought to be something more. I think all of us have experienced that. And to paraphrase C.S. Lewis, he said, you know that something more, that thing that you're looking for, you might not be able to find here. Maybe it's only available at the feet of God the Father. Maybe that's the case. But how do we find meaning? Well, the thing is, if we seek wisdom, we even leave that behind. But you know, if we follow Christ, if we do what he has us to do, if we find ourselves in our sweet spot, so to speak, doing what we're supposed to do, and every bit of work that we do, we work as unto the Lord. We do our very best job, and in all our ways we honor him, we find meaning. There's meaning in almost anything. You can find meaning in gathering the trash. You can find meaning in being the president. You can find meaning in delivering the mail. You can find meaning in making hamburgers at McDonald's. As long as you're doing it with a proper attitude and with a thankful heart. That's where we find our meaning. When we work as unto the Lord, that's hard. Sometimes I don't always have the best attitude especially when the state interferes with education. I can't stand that. I just want to teach and be left alone with all these silly things that come down the pipe. But we have to do what we have to do, don't we? And I think every job's like that. So let's just try to do our jobs with meaning and giving glory to God the entire time. I hope that helps a little bit. Maybe it makes your day a little bit better, easier. Remember, everything you do just work as unto the Lord. Meaning is right there in that service to Him. Be kind to each other. See you next time.